ooh, ooh, you're gonna love today. I had a, uh, an experience in Theta State that was so bizarre. I rarely have these. I've had maybe just a couple in my entire life on this level. I'm going to talk to you about uh, an experience that I had was so powerful and it deals with the Council of Nine, the mysterious powers of Nine that I had no knowledge of but experienced something and then when I investigated it, found out what it was, I want to share it with you. It's so cool. Are you ready to go there? Come on, this is going to be fun. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube, here to help you break through fear and live an amazing life. Now, I'm going to share some information here that doesn't go in depth, but I'm going to blog about what I'm going to share with you regarding the Council of Nine. I have studied Eckhart Tolle maybe 15 years ago. I have not read his stuff or really followed him for a very long period of time. He was my guy. Because Eckhart Tolle is the essence of just pure peace and he doesn't put too much thought into anything else. In fact, he's into no thought and that's true awakening. No taking sides, no making any statements of right or wrong. That's true awakening. So I have not purposefully studied anybody's spiritual teachings or gone too much into all of that because I don't want to be influenced with my own downloads. Now, I had an experience where I found myself out into the cosmos, looking at planet Earth. I was in this amazing, beautiful, beautiful space. And there was a being that appeared. It was a man in a robe. <laughs> it's usually some good looking guy in a robe, some you know guy who's like middle aged and appeared to me. And I was thinking at that split second, is this God? And I thought, no, this isn't God because it wasn't that mega powerful light, you know, you're like beyond the shadow of a doubt. Of course, everything is God. But I knew this wasn't the highest power essence point of the one. I knew this was another uh, expression of the one and I didn't know what he was. But I knew he was a higher being. So I said, you're not, uh, and he said, no. <laughs> he said, I oversee the galaxy. And he said, you know, this is a big responsibility. He said, I answer to others. It's not just me. Because I was thinking, you, there's one being that oversees the galaxy, which is totally possible, right? He says, I have others to answer to. In other words, this higher being who is here to assist us and to oversee things, who I'm sure there's organizations out there that work together and collaborate, he had, and I say he, but it was just, it, he was a being appearing as a man. He had others to answer to. In other words, he had things to do to keep going up and up and up. It's endless. And he said, there are nine of us. Now, I specifically, now if you guys watched my video last year, I actually talked about this because it was a bizarre experience. So recently I was thinking, I never really found out what that was about because for me, 12 made more sense. And I've never heard about beings overseeing galaxies. I thought, we're just out here and there's the one and that's it. But of course, we know there are archangels and of course we know that there are, uh, you know, other beans, light beans, and all kinds of things that go on that we don't understand, that none of us understand. Nobody has that answer. So I want to share something with you because I looked it up and I thought, why nine? What is it about nine? Now, I'm going to write a blog on landrocket.com and I'll give you the link in my description because I'm going to research this deeper so that I can post it for you. So the Council of Nine, the mysterious Council of Nine, is part of the Pleiadian uh, planets. Let's talk about the organization Pleiadians in the Big Dipper, all right? That is, the, that is nine stars out there. The Big Dipper is nine. 
nine stars and the, the mysterious council of nine supposedly comes from that. And that's why people are getting the Galactic Federation, the Pleiadians, all this stuff. And of course, again, somebody says anything that's separation, they're not it. If I'm going to fool somebody, what am I going to do? Hey, I am peace. By the way, they're the enemy. <clears throat> you're going to go, oh yes, well you're peace, so it's okay for me to, you know, reeling you in. Hello, McFly. Can you get, you know, wrap your head around that one? The Council of Nine is nothing but peace and love and overseeing all the things that we're creating to guide us through that. They're overseeing it. The mysterious Council of Nine uh, has been well known throughout the centuries. Okay, the Aztecs had nine gods. The Norse had nine gods. The Buddhists, certain factions of Buddhism, have nine unknown men who have the knowledge of the universe. Of the universe. So my nine that oversee not just our galaxy, but other galaxies, by the way. He said, yes, there are, there are those in charge of different galaxies and places, all right? The Greeks had nine gods. Zeus was the council of nine. So Gene Roddenberry, you want to hear, this is so cool. Gene Roddenberry got his info from channeling the council of nine now, if you're familiar with Gene Roddenberry, he wrote Star Trek, which was a very popular series over here for many, many years. Spock and all those guys, for those of you who don't know. And it's, uh, it, is, it came from a channeler who was part of an organization of the U.S. government. I hope that doesn't get bleeped. Maybe I'll just put it in writing. <laughs> and uh, the who uh, had, was exploring those areas of remote viewing and all this stuff, and they had a channeler, and she was channeling the Council of Nine, and they were getting information from her. And guess what? Gene Roddenberry loved this, and so he started working with her exclusively and shared, she shared stories. Of, if, so if you're the Council of Nine and you're over other galaxies, all those stories, they're real. Right? So he, she would share the stories and even the names of some of the other beings and things that were going on and the challenges going on in other galaxies. That was all from a channeler. You, I'm going to share this information with you in my blog, so look it up. It's very, very cool. So how cool is it when I went out into that space and met this being that he told me there were nine that oversee the galaxies? and that he had to answer to higher-ups and higher-ups. And he was like, you know what, he has to do his job kind of thing. I think that's amazing. I think that this whole universe and beyond is organized in a way that we can't even imagine. That just because we don't see things, we believe that what, this material, that what we see in this material world is just this and it's not. It's what we don't see. And you're tapping into what we don't see. There are beings that are constantly helping us, guiding us, and hoping that we become, you know, let's just say, responsible citizens. Because right now, if I were one of them, I wouldn't come down to this planet. We don't even treat each other nice. Are you ready to start to be worthy of higher beings that can use technology, show us technology that we won't use to blow each other up? that we will use for free energy to clean up our planet? Are you ready to be that responsible citizen? It takes you, there's a whole council and beyond that that is here supporting us. It's a really nice feeling, isn't it? All of a sudden I thought we were all just planets out there and the one was just part of that. And of course we have archangels, all that stuff. But when I realized we have overseers, serious overseers that are participating with us without interfering in our free will that are concerned about us. I just felt really good. I thought, wow, we so are not alone. And if it feels that way, it's because you have to feel that way to be tested. If you knew that you had support, or if your mommy and daddy were taking care of you for the rest of your life, you would not go out and do some of the things that you might do if you were alone, right? And that's all we are. We feel like mommy and daddy isn't here anymore. Nobody's taking care of us. And we're on our own. And it's a very 
well, just, you know, unsettling feeling, isn't it? You know, feeling like, gosh, isn't there anybody there to help me? You hold that power. And when you start to use it, they'll kick in to assist because you have to learn that first for them to be a part of that. Council of Nine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He was actually so cool. And I have met one of my guides before who, again, always some good-looking middle-aged guy <laughs> in a robe. <laughs> they appear to me the way I would like them to. <laughs> And you know what? This era that we're going through is of the most positive because it's the transition. It's the uncomfortable uh, part of what's going to happen on this planet and um, in the most amazing way. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you stick to peace and love and no separation, no judgment, you're going to tra transition. It's happening right now. It's happening. And so you're going to continue to see it happen out there. The split, you'll see it but you'll understand it and you'll no longer be threatened by it. And you'll start to take action. Next year is the year of action. You'll start to take action as you decide what that pathway is for you. So this is the year of expansion. We are not alone. We have all that assistance and it's waiting for us to create. So start creating, start going into things you're passionate about. And again, you know what, go in here Go, go take my uh, free videos, learn how to create coaching courses, learn how to create great products and services, you know, do all these things, take breakthrough fear. Go in there and learn how to break through the fear so that you can go into the space of expansion right now because we should be focusing just on that, not looking at fear and what's going on out there. Go into expansion and next year, year of action, we're gonna start to do some unbelievable, amazing things. And who knows, maybe some of them will step in and assist in a big way. But right now, it's hands off. They oversee, but they are not controlling us like puppets. We are in charge of the destiny of our planet and your own reality. Never forget that. And it's a moving target. So if anybody tells you they know what the end of the earth is, Nostradamus didn't even know that. Those were not predictions. Those were warnings of what could be and most of those didn't happen. So he wasn't bad at predicting. We took charge and changed things. Yay. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Fun stuff, isn't it? Okay, uh, go down and get my link to my blog because I'm going to do some real research on this just to see what history has done with the nine and what that means, has meant to us as humans. Again, it's just fun stuff, but we should be focused just on the positive change and everything else is just uh, creativity. You're whole and perfect. Strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy! I am happy. I'm the luckiest girl on the planet. I am joyous. I am love. I am the positive change. Namaste.